A gentlelady from North Carolina. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentlelady for yielding, asking you now to consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the rule, but in strong opposition uh, to the supplemental appropriation. Uh, the President came to us and asked us to fund uh, the NATO war, asked for uh, seven point nine billion dollars but uh, we in the conservative congress have decided that uh, not only would we give it to him but we bump that up to fifteen billion dollars which doesn't make a whole lot of sense especially if congress has spoken out on what they think of the war and congress have we've had several votes already we have voted uh... and said that we do not think the tr ground troops should be sent in and most military people tell us that the only way you're going to win the war is with ground troops. So we've taken a strong position. We've had a chance to vote on declaration of war and make a decision one way or the other. We've strongly said we are not going to declare war. We've spoken out on the air war. We did not even endorse the air war. And the president has spent a lot of money. They're hoping to get some of this money back by, from the European nations, but all that makes us are professional mercenaries fighting wars for other people which I don't agree with. But here we are getting ready to fund a war that is undeclared. It doesn't make any sense. We're giving more money to the president than he asked for in a war that can't be won, in a war that we're not even determined to fight. It just doesn't make any sense. So in order to get enough votes to pass the bill, of course, we put a little bit of extras on there to satisfy some special interests in order to get some more votes. But the real principle here today that we're voting on is whether or not we're going to fund an illegal, unconstitutional war. It doesn't follow the rules of our Constitution. It doesn't follow the rules of the U United Nations Treaty. It doesn't follow the NATO, NATO Treaty. And here we are, just permitting it, endorsing it by further funding it. This doesn't make any sense. We have to finally say enough is enough. This is how we get into trouble. This is how we make mistakes. And every day, we hear of another mistakes and apologies being made. Innocent people dying. We should not vote for this supplemental funding. Time of the gentleman's expired.